uh, how our bounty system works from previous Xenos. So yeah, get a whole 10 cents on Swiss Rider. Yeah, if, you know what? I'll, do I'll double the offer. I'll give you another dime. <laughs> But speaking of characters whose stocks are hot right now, we've got John and Pekko. These are definitely going to be two valuable bounties nine weeks from now. But right now, they're going to be looking for some local money here in winter semis. Hey, there's, there's no better feeling than taking your fellow neighbor's money. <laughs> I don't know Legally. about that. <laughs> Legally, thank you. Do not condone any sort of uh, violence against your, your fellow player. I mean, poker usually doesn't get violence. Not like <laughs> this game. Oh, that forward smash. That forward Not smash looking violent right now. Not violent enough to take that stock, though. Yep. Pekko looking for the classic uh, Z-drop banana into downer. But of course, John ready with the weave as he often is. Not quite finding that sun salutation, though, but deep breathing is online. Ooh. Okay, great patience there from Pekko. Baiting back there. Not pulling out a banana. Yeah, deep breathing is offline, but some salutation is back online, though. All right, another deep breathing. Yeah, Pekko definitely got to be on notice right now, but instead it's Ooh. John who's got to be on notice. Not quite ready for the banana coming in. I like the use of the down smash. Up smash is uh, a little unreliable at some percentages. Oh, no. Is he going to make it back? Nope. No, unfortunately, the back hit of the forward air, just enough to knock Diddy out of the barrels, getting that, like, soft knockback interaction. All right, avoiding the sun. All right, just playing patient, waiting for John to press the issue, which he off usually isn't the one to do so. But if Pekka is able to, like, change up those timings and really mess with John's own rhythm, then he's going to be sitting pretty. John can sit pretty at ledge, though, because we d he does have all the tools to projectile, so he can force the other person to also approach. Yeah, and that is typically what the John game plan is. But, you know, if Pekko is able to threaten, especially with the banana, which the banana has been doing so much work in this set so far. Oh, the phantom on the wow. soccer ball as well. Right, oh, no, that is a deep breathing neutral air, my friend. Ooh. You're okay. The All right, deep breathing though is gone the for banana the first time. Blocking the soccer ball. Ooh. Great grab. Gone. Covering instead. Ooh. Oh, almost oh. catching with the soccer ball? That would have been terrifying. With the skim off of the PS2 platform as well, that would have been nasty. But oh. Pekko able to live to tell his tale and maybe take John's second stock first. Without, keeping, without deep breathing, it is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, and keeping this pressure on on the stage, John really just kind of had to play the floor as lava for a little bit. It's back online, though. Ooh, Pekko, Pekko recognizing that that wasn't a grounded banana hit and just waiting to see what John's response would be. Oh, but the Knees deep breathing. To the face. Deep breathing down till taking Pekko's second stock and now it has to work a little bit harder. No rage on deck for Pekko. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Honestly, Pekko's been getting so good at that. Every single set he will do at least one or two of them. Yeah, recognizing that John was on the inside of the PS2 like wall and not able to weave out of the way of the down air. Alright, John back on ledge, his favorite spot. Center stage not so favorite spot. Yeah, Pekko has been making, like, so much work of the center stage. But, oh, what? that's going to be a soccer ball snipe. Pekko shaking his head. Pekko, not, unfortunately, not a sports kid not, in high school. Doesn't know what to do with that. Workout. Not happy with that uh, that interaction. But, I mean, when you're Diddy Kong that so, like, that far out, it's, it's a tough position. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, my God. John knows exactly Boop. where to throw it. Even with Pekko off screen, he's, honestly, he's fine in the If you he's zoom in on Pekko's on. face when that happens, you can just see the smirk like just curling up there on the <laughs> side. It was great, like, mm, you know. Alright, nice little run. Okay, but we're running it straight back to PS2, I believe. I believe. No, we're actually going to be moving on to Smashville. An excellent choice. Why? Well, never mind. KK is not here. Oh, KK isn't here. Lame. But I do agree that it's a great choice 
for Pekko, just because Pekko was making so much use of the center stage in that game one, and Smashville, with the having the platform in the center, is only going to amplify that. Right. Not so much room for John to run around and camp. Yeah. That being said, though, John not really looking like he has to. Already 91% on Pekko, making short work of this first stock. Catching the banana as well. You can see oh. Pekko definitely wants to avoid another one of these barrel jetpack mishaps. Double barrel mishaps? Uh, okay, barrel mishap. Not gonna be... Wow, Ooh. makes it back. Shorter blast zones, correct? So there's a little bit of less distance to travel. I believe so. It's definitely not as bad as, like, town and city, obviously. Right. Oh. Wow. But that was pretty bad, hitting the hula hoops. Actually, didn't even hit the hula hoops. Pekko just didn't have enough gas in the jetpack to make it back. All right, once again, John stalling off stage, messing with Pekko's timing, because you know he wants another one of those spikes at ledge. Oh Ooh. my god, barely making it back. John's got those recoveries down to a science right now. He's like, this is the Ooh. last frame of the recovery. I can make it. So oh. I, I want to point out one thing about the Smashville side blast zones. Yes. Um, while they are like smaller than like uh, FD, right? Mm -hmm. The it it's just because the stage is like physically smaller. So the ledge to blast zone ratio is uh, about basically the same. Oh, okay. But then uh, from like floor to ceiling, Smashville is taller. Hmm. That's well, math. Yeah, and we don't argue with math. Just like 87 is a bigger number, and Pekko is a disadvantage. Ooh. All right, another good jetpack angle from Pekko to make it back to the ledge. Doesn't want to get sniped by the soccer ball again. But a game slapped by the hands. Yeah, deep breathing up air is absolutely going to be enough to take Pekko's second stock, and John is looking primed to move on to winner's finals if Pekko's not able to mount a comeback. Okay, good grab. Just holding oh, on no. to him for a second. <laughs> You're going to think about this down air as it's coming for you. Pekko, what have I done? Ooh, catching Pekko, air dodging in as well with the charge on the down smash. We've seen some charged uh, smashes here from John this set, which uh, I'm always like, what's he doing? That he, one paid off. Yeah, the, the charged smash attacks, most of them are like, kind of the, the call out's like, I'm in your head. That's when John is completed download, unless it's up smash, in which case it's, uh, I think you don't know what this move does, and you, you don't know it's going to kill you. Right. You know, no taunts, just smashes. All right. Hey, John's saving his jump. Doing a great job of not panicking. Yeah, missing the header? No, no, doing that on purpose. Echo definitely making Free good grab. work of John's... <laughs> oh, John was ready for the barrel explosion as well. That's matchup knowledge coming through. And although Pekko is making good work of John's second stock, he's he's bleeding a lot. Yeah, well, you know what? He didn't hear a bell, though. He's still going. <laughs> Our man is living. It's well, getting... all right. It's okay. Fresh stock. I mean, it's, this? it's never never over till it's over, but it's, the winner. it's over. Deep breathing F tilt, absolutely going to be enough to take John into winner's finals, coming up against Fawn. Ooh, that's going to be an excellent matchup. The Waypoint Classic, but obviously a Xeno Classic as well. Yes, you're right. Obviously, you can only up so many times off stage before you lose gas. By the way, thank you for the follow, Sahamoha. God, I saw you. I'm a thank you. Anyway, we will see Pekko down there in uh, Losers, uh, facing off against, I believe, uh, the winner of Veets versus Helper. Hmm. Interesting.